If you got a new iPad, well, congratulations. We're going to take a look at an app that can bring some of your documents over to your iPad. This episode brought to you by Zag. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at iPad apps to keep your iPad at play. Twitter handle is simply iPad365, and of course the email address is show at ipad-365.com. Of course, we do this show every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for your consumption. We do it throughout the year. And if you just got a brand new iPad, congratulations. Of course, the holidays have just passed. Happy holidays to all. And of course, if you went and got a present and you looked underneath your tree and hey, there's a new iPad, there's a new iPad mini. It's your first iPad, it's your first iPad mini. Congratulations for joining with us and being part of the iPad community iPad 365, I'm going to show you applications you can put onto your iPad, what they do, how they work from productivity applications to business applications to games to fun applications. I'm a musician, so I focus on some of the music apps as well and have a little bit of fun. You can always contact me. You can always create your own video of a review of an app that you liked when you downloaded and put on your iPad and send it to me over at show at ipad-365.com. All right, today we're going to take a look at an application that's actually been around for a very long while. I think the first revision was back in June of 2010, and now it's up to version 5.1, if I remember correctly. The name of the application is called Quick Office Pro HD. There are two versions of this app. One's called Quick Office HD and one's called Quick Office Pro HD. Now, here's the big difference. The free version is only going to get you into Google Documents if you have a business account with Google Documents. So you got to purchase the Quick Office Pro HD, which is $7.99. But I'm going to tell you something. It is well worth it to make this purchase. Why? Because you can actually edit things from Word documents to Google Drive documents to Dropbox documents to Box or whatever system you have. You can actually bring in your spreadsheets, your PowerPoint presentations, your documents and do some editing. It stores it on the iPad so you can actually be in a flight. You download it beforehand, uh, put it in editor mode and of course when you get off the plane you want to resync it with your Dropbox or whatever and then have all the documents at your fingertips if you need it. Here's how it works. Now, if as you see on the monitor here, we have what my iPad here, and then I've hooked up to a couple of the drives that I use. Like for instance, Google Drive. I have an Evernote account. I have a Dropbox account. You hit the plus on the bottom, you see some of these other great bo- uh, cloud drives that you could get, like Box, which we've talked about uh, a few months back. Catch, which I think we also talked about a few months back, Sugar Sync, Huddle, Ignite, and as as it grows, there'll be other services that'll probably attach to the Quick Office Pro. You just have to wait until the service comes on. And if they don't know the service, email them and say, hey, don't forget this service. And they'll, they'll tell you, oh, well, we've never heard of it, or we're currently in talks with them or whatnot, but they'll definitely try and get that on there. So basically, so what you do is you add your drive and then it puts it in a list. Like for instance, we're looking at my Google Drive right now where I've got a lot of documents, a lot of untitled documents, and this is the best part, organization of these documents. But this is actually pretty simple. Like for instance, I have this untitled form, which is probably nothing in here. It's going to download really quick. Yeah, it's just an empty spreadsheet that I started for some reason. Now I don't need it. So I just hold down and I can choose to email it to somebody, forward it to someone, or throw it in the trash. I can also turn around and put it into a folder. Like for instance, I have a folder here called old, older stuff. Now I have uh, a show I used to do called OTT Notes, which I would put into my Google Drive. So I could hold this down and I can actually move this into the folder just like that. So it's all drag and drop. It's all easy. I can do this on the road if I'm waiting, you know, when I'm sitting in an office waiting for somebody to, that I'm going to meet with or whatnot. I can actually uh, organize my Google Drive. I can organize my Evernotes. I can organize my, uh, my Dropbox and get a whole bunch of stuff, figure out if somebody puts something in my Dropbox, I can see what they put in my Dropbox and go from there. And then I don't have to have all those apps 
on my iPad, especially if I have like a 16 gigabyte iPad where I'm trying to save space. Once again, the name of this app is called Quick Office Pro HD. There's two versions, the free version and the paid version, which is $7.99. If you do not have a business Google Drive account, then you're gonna have to get the Quick Office Pro HD. Um, like I said, $7.99, but well worth it in the App Store. Okay, so you got your brand new iPad, your iPad mini, now you want to get a case for it. You might want to get an invisible screen for it so you don't scratch it or dent it or anything like that, like I do. I mean, I have this really nice Bluetooth keyboard case and I've got the invisible shield on top of that. So I've protected my investment. And I'll tell you something, I've dropped my iPad several times and with the, with the case on it, with the invisible shield, I just basically picked it up and dusted it off and gone from there. And I've dropped it on concrete. Go over to Zag. They have a lot of great cases. They have a lot of great different things that you can use. Like for instance, this folio case, which is simply a case and the Bluetooth keyboard. It turns it into a laptop and makes it really sturdy. And it also protects your iPad, which is great. And of course there's the invisible shield, which Zag excels in where you can actually, for any tablet or any smartphone, you can go through the list and find it and uh, get, that, uh, get that product, put it on top of your screen and you will be protected. And it still works perfectly, just like you don't have anything on top of it. And of course you have other things like the Zag Spark here, which is a great device. You plug it in, charge it up, and then when you need to recharge your tablet or smartphone, any type, you plug it into the USB port and you can charge it up from there. Check it all out over at Zag by going over to geekazine.com forward slash Zag. Of course, that'll help keep iPad 365's lights on. Geekazine.com forward slash Zag. And of course, at checkout, if you use the code Geekazine, you'll get 20% off selected items. So check it out. Go over to geekazine.com forward slash Zag for your device. And of course, that's this episode of iPad 365. What'd you think of Quick Office Pro? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. Twitter me over at iPad365. You can email me at show at iPad-365.com. Check out the previous episodes, the uh, 12 apps of Christmas, part two. And then of course, the night before Christmas, which was a reading of the night before Christmas, which was one of the iPad apps you can get on the store. We've got lots of great apps coming up. You can also check it out over at YouTube, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Find the iPad 365 channel and look at all the apps that I've talked about in this last year because they're still relevant and they're still pretty darn good. So check that all out. And then of course, we'll see you on Friday when it will be another episode of iPad 365. I'll be here and I'll have an app for you waiting in the wing. And until then, you guys, geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.